Welcome back to your February Movement Challenge. I'm Amanda, founder of Liminal Space Yoga, and you are on day four. Today we're gonna to focus on finding some stability and strength in some of our yoga posture, standing poses that we do in classes. We're gonna move through them in a dynamic way so that we can feel the muscles working and also feel our strength in holding the poses. So we're gonna start by standing and we're gonna do a little dynamic warm up just to get ready. If you have a wall nearby, wonderful. If not, that's okay too. We're gonna balance on the left side and just gently start to swing the right leg. So we're allowing the knee to bend. We're not doing too much on our lower back. You know, we're not like trying to swing it back and we're letting the left leg just be a little soft, right? It doesn't need to be locked out here. Just kind of kicking, swinging, seeing where your range of motion is today. And you don't need to push past it. Just warm the leg up, give it a little swing. And then we're gonna to get to the other side, left side. The same thing, bending the knee as it comes back so that we're not jarring the low spine. And just allowing for a little movement, a little bit of blood flow, and starting to breathe a little deeper. Good, now you're gonna do another swing, but it's gonna be across the body. If you have a wall, great, it'll look like this. So kicking out, and if you don't have a wall, that's also fine, it just might not be as wide of a movement, right? So you're kind of driving with the heel if you're not using a wall, feeling the inner thigh on the inner motion and kind of feeling the outer thigh on the outer motion. So wall or no wall, one or two more. It's a little harder without a wall, other side, left side. Take that foot, drive the heel and then lift it up. So just a few gentle, easy swings and maybe try with and without a wall just to see what your balance looks like. I feel like it helps to use your arms side to side. Get two or three more. You might feel like playing today like I do and it might not be as serious. And again, it's just about moving. It's not that serious. And remember, if something doesn't feel good in your body, don't do it. You can do something else. There's a million movements you could pick from. All right. We're gonna bring our hands out in front of us. You can use it as a placeholder or not. You can hold onto a wall instead. And we're just gonna march, but I wanna drive the knees up above the hips, which is why we have our hands here. And we're just marching. So every time you step your foot down, kind of smush the foot, feel the four corners of your foot. And start to get the heart rate up. I'm feeling some movement. Feeling some engagement, feeling some stability. Good, and then we're gonna step the feet wide, bring the arms wide, and so slow controlled rotations to start with. To the right, we're keeping the feet planted. It only go as far as your body can go, and maybe not even fully all the way, and then take it to the left. Breathing in, breathing out. Now, see what happens when you get a little looser, and the legs a little less rigid. Just kind of keep swinging the arms. And take your time, because I know a lot of us have low back issues. A lot of us maybe don't need to be twisting, which is why we're kind of starting slow and controlled. And maybe it helps to dip the arms in some way so it's not pulling, right? So kind of start to find what feels good. And then we're gonna lift the feet lift off. So we're gonna let the heels lift off. So as we spiral one direction, it's like swinging a bat, right? We're kind of lifting the back heel or swinging a tennis racket, right? How you have both feet planted, but one is pivoting, right? And so I'm doing it super dramatic, but just allow yourself to kind of swing. Keep going for six, pick up that foot, five, four, so that you're rotating the hips the direction you're looking, three, two, excellent job. Okay, I feel like we're warm. Now it's time to get into standing poses. So we're gonna start by stepping back into a high lunge. So right foot's gonna step back. Our high lunge in yoga, there's a lot of lunges, right? When you are working out, we can kind of work from the ground and kind of like lift ourselves up. You know, we did some lunges already where we're kind of doing them in place. We're also doing forward and backward stepping, but we're doing this one because it's a yoga pose. 
So our knee is directly over our ankle on the left foot. We're firing up the muscles in the thigh and in the booty because we're pressing down into the heel. And this back leg, depending on how your body feels, can either be bent here with the heel lifted and the leg engaged, or pressing more down into the ball of the foot and kind of giving yourself that lift here. And then hands to hips, making sure that they are square to the front of your space. So taking a breath, feeling the leg muscles, however they're working for you. And then exhale, slowly, gently begin to lower that left knee, a lot of control. We're gonna do three more, really slow. Inhale, press into the left foot, lift up, find your yoga pose, lift that back heel, fire up the leg. Exhale, slow and controlled, even if it's a little shaky, slow, controlled, lower. Keep going, inhale, press to lift up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release, you're doing awesome, we have one more. Inhale, reach up, maybe add some arms this time, really push into the back foot. And then exhale, take your time, we're gonna bring the hands down, step that left foot back to meet the right and press the hips up into a downward facing dog. Big breath here. Exhale, release. Take the feet wider, let them walk forward slightly wide to the edges of your mat and then bend your knees, walk your hands back towards your feet. Hands to above the knees, inhale, come up, start to come up. Exhale, heel toe your feet together. And then rise the rest of the way, breathe in. You can press your hips into your hands, squeeze the booty muscles again. Good, exhale, let it go. Left side, so stepping your left foot back. Kind of again, just kind of noticing where it is you step back to, how far, how wide, do you feel stable? Do you feel like you are actually bent into the front leg and using the muscles and starting to engage them? All right, so get into that front leg. And then maybe kind of bend the knee, see like, oh, okay, this feels one way, right? And maybe slide the foot back and then really start to lengthen to find that yoga pose, that high crescent lunge. Hands to hips, make sure the bones are pointing forward and that we're not sideways tweaking our bodies with misalignment, drawing the core muscles in. So we're gonna go ahead and move in and out of it. Take a breath. Exhale, slowly lower that back knee. It can tap, it doesn't have to. Inhale, rise back up. Squeeze the muscles in the back leg. Press into the heel of the right foot. Exhale, slowly, carefully lower down. Inhale, press into your feet evenly. Lift up, squeeze, use the muscles. Exhale, come back down. Last one, we're gonna rise together. Reach the arms up if that feels good. Big, deep breath here. And then exhale slowly, letting the body come forward, slow and controlled, hands to the mat, stepping that right foot back, moving back into our downward dog, hips up, knees soft, breathe in, breathe out. Let's bring the feet together so that they touch. We're gonna work through warrior two. We're gonna start with the right foot on this side. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, look forward, step it forward, take that big gigantic step. And then we're gonna come through high lunge where we just were, just for the safety of the back and the hips. And when you're exhale, you're gonna open up into warrior two. So it's the back foot, it's a simple pivot of the back foot only, opening into warrior two, right? And then go ahead, straighten your front leg, check your alignment. You wanna take up a lot of space on your mat. So the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat and the front toes are pointing forward so that when we start to bend into that front leg, that right leg, our knees not dropping in, it's staying open and directly above the ankle. This back leg is long, it's straight, it's engaged. We're using the muscles actively in both legs. So arms come out wide, that's the last part of your warrior as you turn your head forward, soften the shoulders, take a breath. Sink in, breath out. Now we're gonna move it through, inhale, straighten the leg, pull the arms in. Exhale, go right back to it. Be dramatic about it. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, send it out. Inhale, pull it in. Let's focus on the core a little bit. Exhale, get it long. One more just like that, bring it in. Exhale, warrior two. So nice, strong arms, we're gonna flutter them 
up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Staying with a nice even breath, really dropping into your warrior. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach up, leg long, big breath. Go ahead, grab the right wrist with the left hand. Maybe open up the right side body. And then exhale, arms wide. Bend your knee. We're going to rotate forward, spinning up our back heel to align our hips. Lower your hands down and step that right foot back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Let it go. Another breath here. Left side. On your inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, we shift the momentum, take that big step forward. And for the safety of our back and hips, we're going to rise up slow through high crescent lunge, all 10 toes pointing forward, hip bones forward. And as we exhale, the hip bones open externally, rooting down into the right foot. And then checking our alignment is the heel of the front foot aligned with the back arch. Are we engaging that back leg, right leg? And can we sink down, kind of feel the stretch, feel the strength? Feel our center of gravity, right? So arms are going to come out. We're going to sink in here for a breath, engaging the muscles, noticing our center of gravity, and then inhale, slowly pull it in, lengthen that front leg. Exhale, drama back into your warrior. <laughs> Make it fun, right? Inhale, pull it back. Exhale, dramatic warrior to entrance. <sighs> Keep going, breathe in. Breathe out, land in your warrior. Feel the back leg muscles, feel the core, pull it in. Exhale, warrior, let's hold it here. Really feel into your feet, feel into your legs. You can gaze forward, reach out fingertip to fingertip, and then we're pumping the arms like we're just trying to float away, fly away. A little extra work, so up and down, up and down. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stay low, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, inhale, rise, reach your arms up, lengthen that left leg, hold on to the left arm with the right hand. You can take extra breaths here. Open up the side body, take a breath. Exhale wide, pivot that. If you need to, heel toe your back foot in. If your stance got wide or slipped on the mat, you can always kind of scoot the back leg in. I do that all the time because my feet slip and it makes it a little safe and more accessible. I meant to say that already. So from here, your warrior, you're spinning up the back foot, maybe even moving that front foot out wide, getting your hips forward, and then planting your hands and stepping back into your downward facing dog. Big deep breath here. Exhale, slowly, carefully lower your knees. Take them wide, big toes touch. Sink into your child's pose. Release your head down to the mat. Couple breaths here. Slowly climbing up to the hands. We're going to do one more posture on the floor, a modification of side plank, because tomorrow we're going to get into some core work. So go ahead, come into your tabletop. So rather than doing standing side angle, I wanted to focus on modified side plank. So tabletop pose, you're going to extend your right leg long behind you. Now stay with me. Left hand is going to come directly down in front of the face. And you're spinning your left foot out, off to the left, off of the mat so that you can open up and find a straight line from your right foot to your left hand with this back lower leg behind you as an anchor point. So we're gonna reach the top arm forward, get really long through the right side body, breathing in, and then exhale, elbow to knee. Pick that right foot up, and drive them together. Breathe in, you can tap the foot or just reach it out. Exhale two, bring it in. Do what you can. Breathe long. Exhale together. Last one. Exhale, hold it. Now can you take it from here back to the ground, back forward, give it a try, and then wiggle it out. Maybe turn the wrists around. Move your hips, move your wrists, and then we're going to take it to the other side. So left leg reaches back, toes anchor down. 
right hand comes underneath the chest, underneath the nose, and then we start to spin the right foot off to the right side, opening the body on the left, picking up the left arm, finding our anchor point in our left leg. And then we're opening the collarbones, we're reaching up, creating some space, and then we're gonna reach overhead, get that left side body long, take a breath, let it feel good, it's part of the practice. Exhale, drawing the elbow to the knee, using the obliques. Go again, inhale, reach long. Exhale, draw it in. Remember, you can tap the foot or just keep it in the air. Breathe and reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Go again. Exhale, pull it in. Now, can you take that elbow to knee with control and find your way back to tabletop? Great job. Knees wide. Drop your hips one more time. Drop the weight of your head and then bring your arms down beside you. Let your shoulders get heavy and just let your face melt into the mat. Breathe into your tummy. Breathe out. One more breath. And then slowly start to lift up, maybe press into the legs or into the mat. Come up to a seat. We're done with day four. Great job, you guys. I'll see you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.